Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And we're kicking off this month, the month of September, with an ERF Dinky Toys fire engine, which is actually the airport rescue in the yellow. So as you have a look at this going round, checking it out, uh, I'd just like to welcome any new friends to the channel. Welcome on board. Thank you very much. And welcome back all the old friends of the channel. Thanks for your continued support. It's much appreciated. Look forward to all your comments. Just of late, I've been a bit late replying to all the comments. I'm trying to keep up again now, but summer months got a lot to do. So, you know, don't hang me for it. But we get around them all eventually. So, that being said, we've had a look at this. You see how the damage on it. Okay, so let's get it on the bench and have a good look at it. Here we go. Okie dokie then. Let's have a closer look. Okay, here we go then. Dinky Toys, ERF fire tender, made in England. Plastic base, plastic wheels. I think, yeah, and rubber tyres. So that's cool. And this one has a single ladder on it. It's the red one, uh, the standard fire engine, which has the one, the ladder, double ladder with the wheels on the back. I've got one of those in there, but I'm just waiting to get a get a donor one for some extra parts. So that'll be coming up when I get the parts for it. But this one, I've already got a uh, replacement window from a donor fire engine, which was cracked base and it was just basically for spares but luckily the window unit survived because this one's shot um yeah so the plastic ladder just a plastic ladder and this is also the inside to the other one as well so the other fire engine has a red plastic piece inside so that's that get that out of the way it's the same casting as the red one uh, identical two lights search light hoses and this one as you can see it's got the gaps there for the wheels for the red one to fit in and the back piece there uh, hose on the side there plastic i've seen these with yellow wheels and a yellow base as well i think it's a yellow wheels and a yellow base so tell a lie it's yellow wheels and a white base my mistake yeah, I've got decals for this. These are stickers, but I've got decals for it. Um, yeah, we can we can make this look pretty again. Make it look pretty again. Nice chunky casting. So, what have we got? We've got a screw base. So we get a screwdriver. This should be fairly straightforward, hopefully. But you never know, having said that. Let's have a lift up. There you go, lift and separate. There's your plastic. There, pretty good. There you just give it a good wash. I haven't got the facilities to the UV lamps to make it white again like this. Unfortunately, I have to get myself a UV lamp. Um, there is, I've noticed, yeah. Difference in the tires on the back there, look. That's different, that's different. I'm just gonna check just to make sure that that's how they were. That. Now, that's okay. That's okay. These need changing. Somebody at some point has changed those. So, and they're, they're a bit tough to get off. So we'll have a look, see if we can get it off. I'm just trying to see, well, yeah, you can't. These have got to be ground off. Or what I might do, I'll try and get the tyres off. And I think I've got some new tyres for this. Rather than dismantle the axle, because it's a plastic wheels and plastic base, so it can be all cleaned in the same in the same way, can't it? So yeah, that comes off easy enough. So these are, yeah, these tyres are good to go, the front ones. I just got to dig these, get get in there and dig these buggers out. 
Yeah, should be alright with these outer ones anyway. There you go. There you go, that's the outer ones. Pretty good on that side. Let's get in there. Get the outer ones out of that side. I could soft them up with warm water, but these are just inside ones. Look at them, they're just perished, that one. And that one, so that's good. I get them in the bin. Don't need those. So we can clean it out. I'll probably put it in ultrasonic, get the best clean I can on it. Yeah. So that's that one. That's the base. There are the tyres. Now look at the interior. Straightforward lift and separate. There again, there was a good clean. That looks like it's been glued. You can see that there. It looks like it's been glued at some, at some point. So we'll have to re-glue that. Yeah, it's definitely been a glue on it, so it's been apart. Yeah, you can see in there now, like I said, glue along that joint. Okay. So we'll put that in there for the ultrasonic. That was close, I thought it was. Yeah, and that's the glass which is broken and cracked across there, so that's completely useless now. Can't even, I'm perhaps be able to use a bit of a top piece. I'll save the glass because I can cut that. There's a bit of an angle there. Might be able to be used for a sports car windscreen. So we'll keep that. Now, how far do we strip these bits and pieces off here? They're all posted, obviously. They've got posts in them and they've all got connections at the bottom there. So we could take. We could remove all these, which I think I probably will do, and glue them back. Yeah, just trying to locate pin. Yeah, so we could we could do this, and you'll still have some posts to glue back in. There's no point putting screws all over it. And the reason I'm taking these off, I can clean them up better once they, once they've been removed. Get a uh, metal polish on them. And of course, there's two plastic lights there, so can't really put them in the caustic soda. So I'll probably get a punch hole in, drill these out. They'll be fine. So I've got me, um, where is it? Yeah, somewhere. Get the right drawer. Yeah, I've got me. Springy, springy, springy punch. So we can get in there and hammer these out. Hopefully, if I get my finger on it, it's a bit tight in there. She's a bit tight. Yeah, so I'm going to get and drill these out because it's going to be noisy with the drill on. We know how to drill these out, it's not hard. I'm going to drill these out so I can get them all separate and I can clean these up separate. Okay, there's the stickers Airport Rescue, badge on the front. Airport Rescue. Uh, these are the new ones. Where are they? There they are. These are the new ones. Airport Rescue, Airport Rescue, there's an extra one somewhere, I'll go on the front there, okay, so we're ready to go, there's nothing holding us back, nothing at all, so we're going to crack on, I'm going to get these apart, okay, I'm going to make the start on getting the, the parts out from underneath here, okay, lots of this, this is the front bit, it's got the light in it. Take that out. Take that in there and I've got the uh, both the hose reels off. Have you noticed I've left as much of the peg on as I can on these. I've got the searchlight out. Now what I'll be doing, 
I've got one left to do, it's that side there. Okay, and the buzzing behind me is I've got the um, interior in that in the ultrasonic at the moment and it's fired up for 25 minutes on 35 degrees. So that should just clean it. It's not that dirty, it just needs cleaning. Right, got my Dremel, well, my Dremel, it's my Black & Decker Wizard. So I'm not allowed to say Dremel because it ain't a Dremel. Right, or multi-tool. Now, yeah, I've got this bird edge on here, look, yeah. I've got a round one, but I've been using the square one. Um, I've got a one that's like a ball, but this is a flattish one, a round one, cylinder one. Now what we do now, if you've got headphones on, do us a favour, turn them off now. Alright, or turn them down, because it's a bit noisy. I was going to demo on this last one, how I got these out. I mean, you can, if you want, punch a hole and drill them with different size drills, but because you're quite close to the edge here, your chuck your drill might catch that, make it awkward. Or you can use a pillar drill, even a pillar drill, I think you're going to you'll struggle to get down there. Um, so I'll show you what, how I did it. And what, just to explain before the noise starts, is what I do is, how can I show you here? If you look at the mushroom, let me try and zoom it in a bit. I know I'm just waffling on a bit, but if you see the mushroom there, the dark one there, yeah, you see it? What I'm trying to do with this is to go round the edge of the mushroom to narrow that down. So, because it's the actual mushroom, the outside of the mushroom, what catches on the metal. So, if you can round that down and gradually bring it down to within the hole, and then you can tap it out. Okay. I know some people say, well, your videos drag on a little bit, but I'm just trying to explain to people who haven't done it before how I do it. Right, switching on, headphones down, volume down. Try and keep it in shot, but it's going to be awkward when you keep it in shot. I've got it on a close up, so hopefully you'll see. Try it. It might be it might be okay, we'll see. Yeah, gone. There you go. And you've still got something to bite back into when it goes in. The trick is let the tool do the work. The trick is let the tool do the work. I I've, I've scratched the top but it's not deep. Because those burrs can be quite um, bitey. So, yeah, these will all go back in now at some point when they're ready. And I can either drill a hole in there and put a screw in, or I've got a bit of glue to give it a bit of bite. Yeah. See? You can see that's got a bit of a height to it, so I can do something without either glue it, or I can maybe put a screw in it, or what I could do is put a super glue washer to the top and that'll hold it in whatever we'll see when it comes but that's how i get these off when they're like this okay right caustic soda timing okay all the paint came off it took a bit of getting off this yellow yellow always seems to be a, 
hard to get off. Yeah, we've got it all off. A little tiny bit in there I've got a scrap off. And a little bit in the back of there. But I'm not that bothered about it. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to prime this white. Um, but before I prime it white, I'm going to mask off this area here. That little piece there. And inside there, because this is going to remain the body colour. Uh, silver. Yeah, it saved me spraying that. I might as well just leave it bare metal. Okay. Because this piece was bare metal. And it went up there and to the top. And so was this piece in here. Both sides. All right. So that's what we've got to do now before I prime it. I'm going to prime it in white, paint it in yellow. Okay. Yeah, so that's where we are with this. Uh, the rest of it come out not too bad. Now with these, I'm going to just mask off that area there. Uh, I'm going to spray that silver in there, as it was. And then pick out the hose pipe in the, uh, like a beige or a, a light grey in there. I'm undecided with the hubs, whether to chrome them, paint them in, in a silver chrome rather than a white because i think it'll have white wheels and i've got to do the same with this side the interior i'm actually going to paint that black i know it's going away from the original but i'm going to paint it black because this these were you know black all right most of these erf fire engines were black inside so that's what we're going to do with that and the ladder uh, I don't think they had a white ladder, so I'm going to paint this one silver, this ladder. Okay. So that's where we are at the minute. I've got to do, I've got to clean these up because I'm going to leave these natural metal. So I've got to clean them up. So that's where we are. So first of all, I need to get this body in primer and paint. Okay. So that's where we are with this one. That's it, all painted. We're all painted. We've done it in uh, uh, Ford Signal Yellow, Canary Yellow. Not a bad, so you've got that. Canary Yellow or Signal Yellow. <coughs> it's quite a nice yellow, actually. That's the body, which is all done. Yep, I've left this bit. I masked that off, cleaned it all up. Left it bare metal, that side. This side, and a back panel there. It's been drying for a couple of days. This is, I think, the 48 hours, something like that at the minute. So it's good enough to handle now. It was a bit soft yesterday. So now I've got some details. I've been having a quick look at Google Images on the details, but not on this yellow one, because I can't find a yellow one. I found an orange one, but not a yellow one. Uh, so there's quite a bit of little details putting on here, so I won't go through every piece on here because all these are going to be done. All the little cupboard locks are done, will be done. Um, that there, attachment will be done. Handles, indicators both sides. The ERF, the grill will be silver. The ERF should be white. Do the headlights. I'm not 100% sure to what to do the bumper yet. I've seen on the red ones, it's normally a black bumper. Um, I have seen a chrome bumper. But I don't know whether to leave it yellow or not. I'll have a look when I've done the grill and lights and see whether to leave it yellow or not. Uh, it's not really much. because So that's the body. I've gone from the white plastic to the... Um, I painted this silver. I think it's more in keeping. I don't see many fire engines with white ladders, that's for sure. Uh, I painted the interior black, as most of these were black. I've gone with the black. The window unit is all polished up, quite, quite nice. There is a slight hairline crack in it there. But unfortunately, there's not much I can do about that. Just there, you just see it now. Um, these are quite a big screen and they're not very thick. So you have to be careful with those. Um, I've 
got yet to polish these up I'll clean them all down while I will I'm just going to give them a quick go over the polish uh, that one and the other one here uh, the searchlight I've done a little bit different I'll put a little bit because they've sometimes these bigger searchlights are a discolored lens but it was a bulb reflecting I don't know so it's got to polish the back there that's done now these go on the top now there will be there will be some firemen amongst you I'm sure there will be now I've got these painted as a hose color but I'm pretty sure on the red one with the big ladder on the back with the wheels and I'm sure this is string or rope to to um, assist the ladder I'm not sure but I'm going to leave them like this for now because if you look it has actually got a um, hose pipe nozzle on the end look there so I'm going to pick that out I've painted the lights in the uh, Tamiya clear blue but at the minute there's <laughs> this duck on there all right so that's where we are oh and the chassis um i sprayed silver master off i sprayed silver in there and i did the, ho the hose reel in there i've gone with the um i changed the base plate to the other one that i had which had yellow wheels i weren't keen on the white so i thought well i might as well um that's got yellow wheels so we'll go with the yellow go with the yellow wheels okay it's a better base plate at the bottom. So that's where that is where we are. This is where we are. So we've got my paintbrush. I've got my goggle eyes. Goggle goggle eyes. Sun's out. I must remember not to put my hand in the wrong paint pot. And let's see what we can do with this. Uh, I'm zoomed out as far as I can go, can't I? It's a big old beast, this. So we'll go, we'll start, because I'm not making mine up about the bump here. We'll go with the headlights. We'll do the headlights. No, we'll do the grill. Sorry, we'll we do the grill. I like doing grills. We'll go with the grill. What we're gonna do we go with the grill should be okay yeah I did have quite a few looking at a few images of these but I'm not getting much of a good close-ups of these like I say there'll be some farmers amongst you who's probably ridden around in these before nice big chunky fire engine Try to keep it in shop. It's a big beast, this one. Yeah, I think it's going to look quite nice when it's finished. Hopefully, anyway. Hopefully. Yeah, I think they did uh, two red versions. One identical to the other, but different transfers. One's for a foreign country. Can't remember what the country is now. But yeah, so we do this grill. We'll just bling it up a little bit. It's not what will be accurate, but it'll look good. That's for sure. It'll look good. Well, the sun's out today again. Not baking up, but it's getting there. There we go. All right. Okay. Right, I'm going to carry on and finish the rest of this off now. Grill, lights, indicators, side lights. These down here. So I think I'm going to leave the bumper yellow. Okay. I'll do all these little bits here. This was glass in the original, that piece there, that little piece there, that was glass. I think I'll do these silver as well. So we've got a lot to go around, little bits to go around. See when that's done. 
that's all the details painted there we go it took a long time to do all these yeah so that's all the details painted all the handles and everything else uh, I did around the window frames as well at the side uh, I painted the ERF white as a lot of them were and this I kept it yellow in the end I thought yeah I like it yellow it looks good in yellow so as this size all painted as well grab rails on the back and uh, that one there so and I'll put the searchlight on because uh, I'll put a screw underneath there so you can see it so it will turn okay so I've done that so now uh, what else have we done uh, I'll glue the lights in there they're gluing at the minute so what I'm going to do now is uh, we get it assembled and then we'll put the uh, yeah there's a couple of little tiny paint chips on there it's because I was test fitting these and uh, when I pulled them out it just chipped it but you won't see it anyway when it's when it's glued I'm going to, have to glue these two in there um, the drills very tiny trying to get a drill in there to screw it uh, yeah so we're going to assemble it first and then we'll put the decals on the side because there's a decal there there and there on both sides and one on the front there at the top so we'll do that last okay so we're going to get the magic carpet out and here we go Wait one chaps and we're back in a second. Righty, righty, righty. So the first thing we're going to do is going to glue these bits in here and then give it a minute to dry. Okay. Uh, I think we'll put these top ones on first. Got a little locating pin there. Okay. Uh, make sure you get the bell on the right side, which is a passenger side, this side goes like so just push them in there like that and just put a little bit of super duper on the bottom there to hold them in place it's not going to get played with anyway so I'm not that fussed with it it's just a matter of holding it in place that one They do push fit. I could leave them as they are without gluing them. But belts and braces, if you know what I mean. Belts and braces. Just put a little drop in there just to keep it located. There you go. Yeah, looking good. These are the same. We've got a little pin on them. So we'll drop these in. If there is any chips showing, I can touch them up anyway. I've got the yellow paint. So I'm not that bothered. There we go about it. It was a search lot more than anything else I wanted to turn because that's the one where it's uh, operational. Hop a ration. It was a bit looser this one so what I'm going to do with this one just want to put a little tiny tiny piece in there A little bit of glue around there. That's it. A little bit in there. Now I've got a, a sneaky feeling that if you notice this on the top, you see that oval shape there on the top. Now I've got. I'm just going to show you something here. I 
Now I reckon that that there is for a switch. Yeah, look at that there. And I think that switch, somebody's done, somebody's used that and they put a light in the front and a battery in that and the bottom of here. But I don't know what went wrong, but it's all melted the inside. You'll see this when I come to do it. But yeah, and I think maybe it's possible that you could get these lights flashing by putting a switch in there. And I think that's probably why they've done that shape because whether they were going to do it and change their mind, I don't know. But it just seems strange that that fits in there a treat like that, don't it? So yeah, this is my red one. before I lose it. Right, okay, these are drying. I think they're good enough now to carry on. So, we'll get her upside down. Put the glass in. Drop the glass in. And the gloss black interior. There. Put the tab underneath there. Drop that down there. That looks like it should be all singing, all dancing. Just double check that because it seems a little bit on the wobbly side. Okay. You whack a screw in there. about that now I need to look at that something's not right there something's not right it's not sitting right I don't know why Wasn't quite sitting right. So I'm trying to lean over in the camera and do this screw up. Yeah, that's sitting better now. There you go. We'll just put the ladder on temporarily because. Uh, I'm going to put the decals on. So that's what she looks like. So now, I'll get ready for the decals. I'm going to put some warm water in the tub. And away we go. Decal time. I've done one side. There you go. You've got to cut these out yourself because they're black square. Or a spring hippo if you're getting them off eBay. All right. All right, then. Yeah, a little bit of water. Not too much. Bum, 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 bum. So I'll just check. Yes, that goes on the back of that one. Pick up my decal.
right there, I think, somewhere in there. Dabbing the old water out of it. So it starts to get a bite. Here we go. Just gently. <laughs> I know people say, well, you keep fiddling with them. I said, because I want them to go down proper. Just avoid as much silvering as possible. And this one is particularly sliding about a lot, actually, this one. Right, that's had too much water underneath it. It's probably the case. That's probably the case, because you can put too much water underneath and it'll slide forever more unless you get it all off. So you put as much water underneath that one and it's, it seemed to have stuck a bit better. Right. Here we go. Right, so that's essentially... It. I've got one to go on the door and one to go on the front, so I'll do them. And then we'll get it on the old magic and see what she looks like. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys ERF Airport Rescue. As you can see, all scruffy. Paint chips all over it. Broken glass. Yeah, so have a look now. See what it turned out like. Have a look at this. Feast your eyes on this. Here we are then, all done and dusted. Dinky Toys ERF Airport Rescue Fire Tender in the yellow. Yeah, I've got a few extra details on it. Painted all the handles, hinges, etc. Uh, ropes and hoses. Uh, indicators, backlights, you name it. Did the ladder silver as well. And the spotlight with a tinge of uh, in the lens there. So yeah, not a bad one to do this one. Yeah, I think it looks a lot better with a black interior, to be honest with you. But at the end of the day, these were designed as toys, so, you know, you're going to expect it to be sort of bright colours. Done the uh, ERF in the white. Yeah. Okay. I hope you like this one. I enjoy doing it. I will be doing the red one uh, at some point. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get in the uh, garden and do a couple of outside shots. So have a look at the outside shot, see what you think. And uh, all the best to you all. Wishing you all good health. And be lucky. Be happy in whatever you're doing. 
and we'll see you all again next week with another restoration. Bye for now. Let's have a look at the outside shots.